Welcome back to my channel. On this adventure, I'm driving two and a half hours to get to a lake called Harrison Lake, and our final destination is going to be Sloket Hot Springs. We're going to be camping overnight, chilling by the fire, and cooking some delicious food. Let's get into it. Okay, Loa, I'm just going for an overnight camping adventure, okay? Don't worry, I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Don't look so sad. Good girl. All right, just took a bit of a pit stop to get some supplies and then we're gonna hit the road again. Once we hit the logging road, it's about 80 kilometers to get to our destination. So we're hoping that there's no washouts along the way, but we will see. a little dicey. We're gonna go check it out and see if we can get past here. Alright, we're just uh, doing a stop here at Wood Lake to grab some firewood. And we're just going to talk to the host here. These people are super nice. I'll put their uh, information in the description to check out their YouTube channel. Beautiful. Alright, well we finally made it to the camp spot and it is super dark out so we're just gonna have to set up our tents and then uh, we're told that the hot springs uh, are accessible. We thought that they might be washed out from the uh, flooding that happened over the last few days but 
we're gonna head over there after we get our tent set up and see if we can't uh, kind of chill out on those. So we'll see. All right, got my tent set up. <laughs> it's not annoying at all. Right, let's uh, check out the inside of my tent here. So I've got my Gear Doctor air mattress and my nice quilted inflatable pillow there and just my MEC um, minus five sleeping bag. And just to keep myself warm tonight, I'm gonna throw some hand warmers in here. I'm just gonna shake them up and uh, throw them in. Uh, just before I go to bed so it'll keep me warm at night. It's actually not even that cold. It's probably around 9 or 10 degrees Celsius But uh, yeah, let's get up to cutting some firewood All right, well, we got our bathing suits on. We're gonna head over to the hot springs and hopefully they're not washed out. So it should be nice and relaxing. I'll see you guys along the way. It's actually surprisingly not that cold out, eh? We're probably getting near to like five degrees, I would say now, but. Oh, you got to be careful with Sasquatches. They're probably chilling in the hot springs, though. <laughs> yeah, are you saying that you're a Sasquatch? <laughs> All right, made it down to the hot springs. They are fully functional. They haven't been washed out by the creek or river. I don't know if it's a creek or river. So we're just going to go hang out and soak in the beautiful hot water. Well, heading back from the hot springs, that was super relaxing. There's only one pool that was uh, hot uh, that's being fed directly by the hot spring. All the other ones were pretty cold, and that water was really, really hot. So, there's a group of six people, I think, from uh, Whistler that were chilling in the, uh, the hot spring, so there's not a lot of space. But uh, we got our little spot to kind of chill out and soak in the hot springs. It was awesome. Now I'm gonna head back uphill and get a fire sorted. I'm starting to get hungry. Can be your lighting guy. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. So this is clever. Like, I mean, look at the design of this. So, basically, it goes like this. You pull it out like that. 
then you have two burners. That's cool. Yeah, so this part here is the adjustment for each one, the left one and the right one. And this connects to the butane. Wow. Yeah. Pretty crafty, right? That is. Oh, uh -oh. Folds down to a nice size. You'd never expect a two burner stove in that. Uh. It has built in wind covers. So that the flames don't blow out. Mm -hmm. Pretty handy. So what is this? Uh, explain for the viewers what this is. It is an aligobe. Aligobe. So it's potato, cauliflower, onions, garlic, uh, there's chili powder, there's cumin seed, there's... Oh wow. Uh, what, one of, there's another seed in there. Um, Looks really good. And I'm forgetting one of the main ingredients. That yellow spice, turmeric. Oh, turmeric. Okay. I'm starving, but look at that. Well, it's been a long but fun day. Most of it has been driving. Steve's been doing all the driving. The hot springs were so relaxing, but I am exhausted. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. Well, it's a new day. And I'm heading back to the hot springs. I'm not going to be swimming today. I just want to get all my stuff wet again, but... I want to show you guys what it looks like during the day because we got to the campsite late last night. So let's head back there and check it out. Coming up on the hot springs now, you can see the uh, steam coming off you can really start to smell the sulfur as well Basically, I have to just 
go up the staircase. That is a rope that you can hang on to. the hot springs. Got a little shack where you can uh, change. I'll pick up some of this garbage here. And during the summer, it's quite nice. You can jump in the uh, river here, or if it's a creek, I don't know, but. I certainly would not do that right now. The creek is just absolutely flowing. Usually, there's multiple pools along the way and they're a lot bigger. You know, there's four or five pools along the way, but there's a sort of runoff that's cooling off all of these lower pools. So, they're not even warm. All right, well, it's time for us to head out of this beautiful spot. And for any of you that want to know if you're coming up here, uh, we came from the uh, Harrison Lake side. It's about 80 kilometers from Harrison Lake to get to here. Uh, you can also come from Pemberton side as well. Uh, but the roads were pretty decent uh, from the Harrison side. Uh, there's a couple of trees that fell over, but uh, other than that, the, the uh, roads were pretty clear. So. All right, we're gonna pack up camp and head out. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for tuning in to Ben Ventures. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel where I've got lots of other content. I hike around, I travel, and I do a lot of amazing things in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.